So in regards to the uptake, uh, what uh, number we're looking at, you know, as I believe Elections Canada is predicting somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, about 5 million people could be expected in terms of uh, uh, requesting uh, the mail-in ballot. And uh, as I say, the way in which the legislation operates, it'll make it easier for Canadians to receive that ballot. And it provides them options in terms of how it is that they can ensure that their vote is counted. Uh, so not only could it be uh, dropped through the mail system, but it could also be brought to, for example, an advance poll or going on to election day where there will be a designation uh, for that vote to, to be received. Uh, in regards to the, the legislative uh, legislation itself, uh, the government has introduced a number of pieces of legislation. We have a very limited uh, time frame. Opposition parties are now aware of the legislation. This is something that's been talked about for a while now already in the Procedures and House Affairs uh, Committee. Um, and uh, when when we can get it through, uh, we'll get it through. Uh, obviously, it's a priority for the government. But what's most important to recognize is that Elections Canada has been and will continue to be ready for whenever an election uh, might be. That's their mandate. They understand that and they're fully capable. They will work with uh, health care experts uh, to ensure uh, that uh, Canadians, when it comes to, to voting, whether you work for Elections Canada, you're a volunteer, or most importantly, you're a voter, that you're going to be in a safe environment for a vote whenever that vote uh, takes place, whether the legislation ultimately uh, receives its passage or not.